<laughs> yeah. A little bit. <laughs> I mean, ridiculously buttoned up. You guys, you know, you know there's some gunfights going on outside the little spaceport tower here. You do know that, that uh, nearby there's a defense spire that uh, your slicer's going to want to slice into because if he does, well, it'll just make your life easier. Right. Because getting shot out of the sky is a really bad thing. Yeah. I'm going to take kindly to that. Yeah, so, so if, if if you all want, you can go ahead and move your 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 tokens over here. So, is there any questions about spending experience from last session? Anything like that? You guys got? Nope. <clears throat> I'm holding on to them until I get five more. Nope, I spent them. <clears throat> yep, spend them. I actually did wind up spending them. It all comes down to whether to hoard the uh, experience points or to go ahead and spend them as quickly as you get them. I'm definitely a fan of saying spend them as quickly as you get them. Well, you definitely don't want to go too far behind because then you're beca- you're not keeping yourself up to, you know, the activities. The party. Yeah, stand. but a je- if he Jedi hunts certain special tricks, he does have to, you know, s- store it up a bit. Yeah, yeah. There's a point where you got to. Oh, yeah. Our Jedi is going to be burning it as quickly as she gets it, I'm sure. So, um, you guys... To a certain degree, yes. I mean, I have to get the... I have a, a plan, and so I have to have the points to, to get to my plan. I'm basically pushing to get down to saber throw, so I will need five... I will need 50 more experience points total to get there. Ah, uh, saber throw... Yep. <laughs> Actually, Saber Swarm is, is is one of the ones I'm really looking forward to because that allows me to f- more effectively dual wield. <coughs> Zarek's out in the front there. I should probably be out, <coughs> out in the front too, I would think. Got to have the unwilling companion there with you guys. So you guys are, are getting ready to, you know, head further in. The plan last I recall was to jack a ride and then take it into the fort because, you know, life should be super easy and, and completely cooperate with that. Of course. Yeah. Shouldn't we re-roll uh, um, the dice pool? Oh, yeah. The... Ah, give me details, just a second before you do, details. though. Good Lord, man. Sorry, it, sorry. It, I'm like, my God, I'm trying to set the stage here, but you guys are just not letting me. <coughs> okay, so go ahead and hit your dice pool button. Wow, somebody's like really on the ball. Uma. Uma's really on the ball with oh, the dark side. Oh, damn it. Zarek is also following suit with the dark side. Oh, no, no, the dark side. I have no stuff. idea what Alina's <laughs> doing there, but there, there's Ooh. force dice involved. That's <laughs> what? what I'm supposed to hit. Where'd you know? You roll destiny, not the force uh, dice uh, up top. Uh, yep, yeah, I, yeah. I, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, I hit the wrong button. Let's... Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There we go. So we, got, we end up with two light and two dark. How nice is that? It's a nice small pool. It's kind of good. It's kind of bad. You know, it's not in the ridiculous number. There's of balance in the want. force. Because, you know, there's, there's folks pe- not wanting to cause violence and folks wanting to cause violence. This works in the, in the force. Right. So you guys, you know, you basically hit the little airlock here, so it opens up. It's this big, gr- dr- little gear-shaped thing. It's sort of like the DS9 gates. Opens up. You can clearly see it goes to this airlock here, where the occasional flash of blaster fire is getting your attention. That that trouble's happening on the other side of here. But on the plus side, our slicer, who conveniently knows the system really, really well now knows that right here is the very first one of those defense towers that he needs to go slice into. Where is it? Right where? Right here. Just just, just a little okay, just hop, south. skip, and a jump a south of you guys. Okay. <clears throat> and, uh, hey, Jim, we, we were talking about this earlier, but um, did you perhaps forget to turn on Fog of War or something to that nature? No, no, I, I wasn't going to bother with Fog of War on, on a Star Wars game. Okay. So you're I, not... I trust you guys to not be too meta. Now, of course, 
there may actually be a, a adventure that does call for fog of war. Just saying, like yeah. if you're in some dark place, but for, for the most part, I, I don't want to set up fog of war for you guys. <laughs> so I'm guessing that the door into this place is over here, right? Surrounded by all of these dudes. Well, if you, if you'd like to go up to the little gear shaped dealio here, that's got a really nice view, view viewport that you can look through. I can tell you. I would love to look through the viewport. Now the How question is: again? Uh, You hold down for two seconds, oh, that's but you right. have to make sure that you're on the pointer button, which is select move. Right, right. So you have to make sure that that's dark blue, so you can see the select move, and then you can just hold down for two seconds, and you'll ping. Yep, ping. I got it now. I remember. I remember. Yeah. Bing, bing. Yeah, I'm still sticking with the nice light color, so that way. And then someone just number. realized the measuring tool. <laughs> no, I knew it. I'm just pointing that out as well. Which yep. is the little circle with the like comb coming out the side of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you have a group that you need to move, you can drag and drop over them to select all of them. <laughs> all right. Now, for you guys, mostly you can only control your mini because I decided not to have the chaos of everyone controlling everyone's mini. That is reasonable. Good call. So are you just brazenly walking up to the viewport because, like, half this no, giant door is, like, Sliding no, glass real clear. Are you, I'm are you totally gonna be stealthy stealth? before I before I do that? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> the, st the stealthy approach. Stealthy approach is good. Do me a favor and roll me a quick stealth, just so you can get some practice at it. Yeah. <laughs> some practice at it. <laughs> practice. So easily you sneak up there and you do the little Naruto ninja style. And you get up to the glass and you kind of peer over and uh, pretty much um, a good medium to long distance <laughs> over here. You see the tower. It's fairly obvious. It's, you know, it's a planetary defense tower. It's got a big giant laser cannon and a big giant ion cannon. And you can see it like moving and tracking and discharging off into the sky. Mm -hmm. Next to it, you see a trio of labor bots. <laughs> Probably the bots that should be working in the hangar itself, moving stuff around. But for some reason, they're all all standing out here like, you know, they're waiting to be ordered. And kind of behind them, since you had three successes, you see three guys that are in some kind of... It's an attempt at uniform armor, but it's totally not Republican armor. It's just like, you know, it looks almost very mercenary-ish. They're all wearing something that's similar, but not uniform. And one of them's got like a little whole bandolier in his sleeve of data jacks. Hmm. Oh, and you know, oh. he's just like <laughs> shoved one inside to the computer there. And they're all like looking up at the cannon as it shoots off. And they're kind of like patting themselves on the back like, good job, John. <laughs> I put the data spike in the hole. <laughs> so I'm um, guessing they're not uh, part of the local government. <laughs> yeah, they clearly do he not look like local, <laughs> local. They sound very much like the the separatist uprising folks that you've heard about. Yeah, yeah. I was going to in fact say yeah. So uh, looks like we've got <clears throat> three droids out there just standing around, as well as three separatists working the cannons. Uh, one of them is jacked into the cannon, <clears throat> and uh, they're kind of distracted by it. So yeah, but the. Uh... The droids are not doing anything, right? They're just kind of hanging out, like... Yeah. They're kind of lolling about, waiting for commands. And just so you know, this this line here, that's a raised platform, not a wall. Okay, all right. That's Can so those be remotely um, uh, sliced, the, uh, the, the box? The droids? Hmm? Maybe we, we should ask the splicer that. Oh, yeah, that's actually what I was going to say. I was like, um, so these are like, because uh, this is what I sliced off of last time. Mm -hmm. Can I use that to slice into them or would I have to like physically 
contact from the inf- from the information you know you basically know that it's dd1 dd2 dd3 and they're okay. basically simple labor bots but to slice them you'd actually have to go up to their data port and slice into them with either like a uh, slicer's kit or with a data spike yep mm. they're not got both. unless they're recharging if they were busy recharging then they're tied into the whole network and then you could totally slice into them ah, but they don't okay. look like they're recharging yeah Nope. They they don't take Looks wireless like they commands. Just finished a good recharge. Oh, nice! Like someone knew when the recharging cycles were, and basically decided to slice them at that exact moment. <clears throat> now, of course, the question is: Could their orders be stand right here, stand guard until you see anyone that isn't one of us approach and attack? Probably. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, usually. Or anybody wearing this type of armor go go attack them. Mm. All right, well, we got to go deal with them, I guess. All right, so yeah, I will. Uh, I'll move to. You guys want to try it? And... Uh, here, I want to move down to here, and I want to try okay, and slice so you're gonna, that. You're gonna open this door. Yep. There's no other way out. No. Nope. Yeah, I'll All open right. it. Okay, so so you open it. Now it's a huge gear-shaped door. It's almost like a like a vault door. Are you going to open it just a little bit, or you open it all the way? Because if you oh, open all, all the way, you have a way. feeling that everyone in the area will hear the door open. Big enough for us to get out then. Okay, so you just open it in a little quarter, so there's a nice size gap that somebody could sneak out if they wanted to, or you guys could just blatantly run. Because remember, short distance will only get you about this far. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so is so is Uma and the uh, companion following? Yes. So who, by the way, is keeping uh, track of the companion? Uh, oh, trust me, we're going to have a friend in a second that's going to take real good care of him. Um, <laughs> I think, what do you think... Um, Zarek, you want to keep an eye on our companion? Um, well, that way, or for, do I fight? For the record, you okay, all then I'll have keep an eye. I'll, I'll, I'll keep a gun on him. Okay. So, I did have a triumph on my coercion, so you did, which is why uh, I, I'm basically imagine. saying you, you guys have control of him for the moment. He won't fight yeah. for you, but he will go where you tell him to go. Yeah, I fear he's not going to get too crazy. So. Especially if it's away from blaster fire. You sense he will definitely go away from blaster fire. Yeah. Right. Because nobody has binders or anything, I imagine. I don't think so. Not this time. No. All right. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. You bounty hunters on us. Yeah. I mean, I got a rifle to start shooting at the that range when possible. And then I have to engage, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I would say let me get out there a ways first before you do. Jim, you said I could probably move to about there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and you could attempt to sneak if you want to try sneaking. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm totally stealthing the whole way up there. Okay, so give me a stealth roll as you're sneaky sneaking. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. And are you wanting to use those light side points for additional successes? Um, Looks like you're using your enhance ability or or you're prepared to use it in case. I just rolled what was in my character sheet and it popped those on there. I have no idea why. <laughs> you must have something for that stealth Set up. Yeah. I mean, there must be something in the Jedi by default, maybe. <clears throat> Either you left, did you leave two up in the dice pool? No. Then no, because he's rolled it twice. Yeah, then mm-hmm. on your skill, did you add? Yep, if you look at your dice pool at the very, very top, you have one light side selected. Yeah, there you go. You want to clear that to a zero, unless you're using your enhance, which I don't think you have enhanced stealth. Nope. 
I know you have athletics and I think coordination. That sounds about right. Coordinating his steps very well. (laughs) (laughs) He he is silently whispering, I am one with the force, the force is with me. Exactly. Exactly. All right, that explains it. Yep. (laughs) I had that one. Okay, so you come out there, you're, you're, you're just avoiding their look, and the, the droids seem to have glazed over receptors, not even bothering to look in your direction. As there's noise heading off as I'm touching the map, and that doesn't help unless I'm pinging the map. As there's noise coming from over here of the occasional blaster fire going back and forth. Okay. <clears throat> and, and what are the rest of y'all doing? So these are a little platform as well? Yep. With a little little schmutz and stuff, and same thing as some stuff over here, with a little <laughs> road that goes this way for all vehicles. Yeah. So, what do you go ahead there? What do you? Are you, are you going to stealth, on? or are you just coming on out? Me, I'm just kind of lollygagging. I can Got stealth you. if you want me to. Well, you saw the Jedi go running out there. You have a feeling that if you, you see, just come walking out there all lackadaisical, you'll kind of blow the stealth of the person right in front of you. That's uh, usually the way it works. No, no, I plan on stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Comes whipping out with his data pad with the plug in the cable, whirling it in the air. Do, 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 do. He's got a hell out in front of him. I'm like, I'm going to charge right at it. <laughs> <laughs> Running up with his dad. Yep, go for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got the difficulty for their perception already in there if anybody else wants to stealth as well. Because it, obviously it, I've had no problem stealth. stealthing. But you were kinda kinda yeah. hustling to catch up with them. So uh, you did take two strain, it looks like. I hold on. Hold on. So hold on. so Jim, speaking of that there strain, I did get two uh, advantage on that last roll. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I am down one strain from the last session. Could I perhaps regain a strain? Yeah, that could totally get you back up. Perfect. So I have resolve. When a character receive involuntarily suffers strain, he suffers one less per rank of resolve. <laughs> so I only nice. get one. Okay. So needless to say, you do not stress out as much as you think you could because you live in a high-stress tech environment. He's like, I actually did this physical stuff. Holy shit. (laughs) (laughs) There's this thing that I did, and I did this thing, and it's too many late nights and taking too much stim. (laughs) All right, so I'm at 12 strain. Are you moving my character, sweetie? No, I moved your character sheet. Yeah. I (laughs) rolled a 22 on obligation, so I had to look look up something. Uh-oh. <laughs> bam. Bam. I'm like, I wasn't on that. I was on the skills tab. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you okay. So <clears throat> I menacingly look at our companion and tell him, you stay in here and stay quiet. And he's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. I like this plan. This is the smartest gank ever. Do not try like, to run away. He has no problem cowering over here. <laughs> Yeah. No, no. If far. you cooperate, yeah. if you cooperate, there will be a trip off the planet. Ooh. <laughs> I, I, I like raise my eyebrow at him, <laughs> but I don't say anything. <laughs> so that just kind of perks him up a little bit. Uh huh. That definitely perks him up a little bit. Okay. And I will try to stealth down into a position over here behind some stuff. Okay, some of the cargo containers and such. Sure. A good defensive position. Since you're the pretty much only one, I think, that's got a a, a long range, long gun on them. Sure, long gun on them. That's yeah, everybody else. It. All of these guys, you notice, <laughs> seem to have just blaster pistols. Right. I have a long gun on me. Yes. Doesn't mean I'm very good at it. But I have one. <laughs> I do have a long range or uh, one, a DE 10 blaster pistol. It says it's long. Oh, mm-hmm. she's got a badass pistol. All right. So it's still set up for stealth. Yep. All right. Let's see. And it's a wash. 
And as Zarek kind of gets up there and finds himself a little position and gets in position and wiggles down, and all of a sudden you just look over, as you see a cargo box somebody put on its side that's so it's sticking up all tall. Would have been great cover, except as soon as you bumped it, it goes falling over and makes a bit of a racket. All righty then. Just okay, enough noise to let at you guys. Know there's, there's noise there, not like, you know, anything crazy, but just, you know, yeah. that sound of don't step on a twig. Crack. <laughs> right. It's not a twig. It's a box or something fell. That that could happen any time. But there's a big giant space gun going off, too. So, you know, that, right. might, be, that might not be too noticeable. Okay. Can I also stealth over to here? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. And let me switch back over to skills. You can definitely attempt to. <laughs> I was just going to say, I should always say, you can attempt yeah. anything. Um, but you're set up, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah, she does. <laughs> oh, Obviously, we know Uma is a smooth criminal. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you feel the breeze hit you. And all of a sudden, you're like, oh, is it going to be a nice day? And you realize that was just her leku flapping as she silently moved behind you and whispered <laughs> into your ear something really creepy as she gets there. <laughs> I am the knight. <laughs> <laughs> she just whispers, I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what Uma does. Yeah. So is there anything yeah. in particular Uma would like to do with those three advantages, by the way? Um, for the next, I want to give uh, the next person of our team to go um, a blue. Okay. Um, and... and- or actually, I want to give the the next we'll see, perception. Give them black. Type of thing. I was to say, yeah, that takes two. So I'll give the next NPC or whatever a black, and then um, for one um, advantage, can I still give uh, just, the, just the next one of our people a blue? Okay. And needless to say, as she walked past Zarek there. The extra successes, I'm going to say she caught that cargo box that was falling yeah. just a second <laughs> before it went bang, 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 bang. And she so just like went down quietly. <clears throat> and I just wink at him. Yeah. You, babe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You so one of these guys kind of mills about and he's, he's, he's oblivious to you guys. And he's like talking to these droids of... Now, when I say go, you chase after the first thing that I tell you to. And he's kind of gesturing over towards the gate here, saying, you know, anyone that looks like this, and he holds up a Republic recruiting poster, and it's got the Republic, you know, police troopers armor on, you know, it's like, only you can defend your people. (laughs) These are your primary targets. Anyone else we designate, those are targets too. We are the People's Liberation Front. We shall free Ord Mantel for the people. Now repeat after me. For the people. And the droids kind of like lift one hand in the air, shaking their fist, kind of. And they're like, for the people. The PLF. All righty. (laughs) (laughs) The popular people's front. (laughs) Okay. So you guys are getting definitely getting closer. It's about to get like, you know, danger time. So go ahead and do me a favor and roll your initiative. Okay. All right. Are we talking cool or vigilance? Well, you are prepared. So cool. So so yes, I would definitely say cool. Glad I upgraded that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine sucks. <laughs> Dude, do you keep moving my sheet? I do. I'm a jerk. Oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> I alt had the wrong one. <laughs> I'm literally just about to click the button and it changes to another screen. <laughs> because that's what I do. All right, upgrade to a yellow paid off with, with two successes. <laughs> All of a sudden you realize the lesson from last adventure was I need to be more prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Look well, it's funny. That. I'm great on vigilance. I got a yellow and two green, but I was one green for if I'm prepared. So don't handle it well if I put too much thought into it, I guess. 
Sometimes it's best to not just plan too much. <laughs> We're just more reactionary. Yeah, just let's go into it. Let's make it happen. Not good on the big plans, good on the reactive plans. So you guys have, have the hold on, hold advantage. So Janong, you're, you shouldn't have any purples in your... Well, so it, I don't know, like it rolled, okay, so it rolled, and then it rolled again. So the first one was two successes, oh, and then okay. it rolled again with a success and an oh, no, advantage. That's, that's Alina that's it, got purple. And it, No, no, mine yeah, came up again, junk. right above looks... where James rolled, and it has two purples. So I was like, I have no idea what's going on. Mm. So it looks like Janong and uh, oh. Morningstar accidentally clicked cool the skill instead of on the combat tab, ah. cool for initiative. Yeah. Ah. Ah. That's what I did. Well, the first one says initiative cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the one that you'll see on the turn order. All right, yeah. So you roll it. Yeah, I got two, so I, I, I don't know. Whatever. It just okay. it went clicky crazy, so I, I was like, whatever. Yay. There we go. We'll delete oh, the nice. extra. Okay. So you guys are all creeping up, all super sneaky. Uma's just absolutely kind of terrifyingly quiet. That cool smuggler's coat muffles her sounds. Pretty talented when you're pink skinned. <laughs> That's I'm just true. saying. <laughs> I'm, there so, must be like something pink on the wall. <laughs> so you're pretty sure these labor droids will be sent after you shortly if trouble starts, especially the way the guy's trying to teach them to be revolutionaries. You know, you notice each of them has like a little data spike shoved into their, their data jack in their backs. You know, hey, they, they've like obviously, recruiters. they've obviously been, you know, hijacked. Well, yes. Yeah, but all said, we have to do is just play our cool, like be like, Oh, Hey, just talk long enough for me to get up there. That's all I gotta do. That's all I gotta do. How free open or mental? Free or mental? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you How know that people? that could deception could be a thing. I'm just saying. Yeah, those that have it. <laughs> and whoever wants to I play that game. Deception. So who wants to go first? <laughs> Nobody jumped at once. Wait, how good is her? How good's her deception? The Jedi I have, deception. Uh, one yellow and two green. So it's eh, it's okay. Standard. What, what's Morningstar's deception? <clears throat> My deception is going to be poor. <laughs> three three greens. Well, I got one yellow, it's... one green. Yeah, because I don't or think no. charm's going to work on a bot. A droid there. Well, no, you got to get the human companions to right. Oh, the shit. wait, I've only got I've only got two green in deception. So I mean, you, try it. Well, I'm Who the cares? best on deception. Yeah, and or charm, whichever one you want to like, go with. I'd rather try and charm him. Well, there you, you go. If that's the route we're going to take, then jump out and do it. <laughs> what would charm come off of? Is that still deception? That's Oh, that's no, no, uh, different. Yes. That's even worse. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not charming. I got a one, so one green. So, I mean, I will certainly. Uh, I mean, if we uh, want to take that route, I got you covered. <laughs> yeah, free Ordman Tell. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be the poster girl for the? It's uh, like, oh, revolution. you guys, you guys made it here. All right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you want me to try and send them our way, like one or two of them? Uh, saying, ah, oh, there's a there's um Republic uh, officers that way. <laughs> They're pressing my freedoms. Whichever way you want to work it, either send them off or allow uh, allow people to get closer. Okay, um, okay, so which where's the guy? He's he's this guy. The guy's right here. He's, yep. Yep. Peeps are all down okay. here. And you're hearing the, the the little little choir of droids saying, "For the people, for the people, <laughs> for okay. the people." Now, now our slicer is questioning just how bad of a hacking job they did that these droids are being sketchy and you know just repeating in total monotone That's with fine. no That's finesse. Fine. That's fine. Okay, I'm, I'm um, more disgusted. 
Uh, the shitty craftsmanship. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to try and stealth over to here, though. Okay. So you want to try to get closer? Uh-huh. Get closer. Um... Yeah, Jim, before we actually get into con- combat, if I can continue to stealth closer, I really want to. Okay. So mm-hmm. it looks like uh, Uma's coming on up and she's being sneaky. I mean, mm-hmm. she's not Batman sneaky this time, but she's being sneaky. Nope. Uh, and uh, I'm going to give them another black dice. Ooh. Okay. Uh, you had a blue, too, by the way. I did? Yeah, the next person to go, I mean, doesn't yeah. count for me, right? <laughs> well, technically it does count for you, but apparently uh, Morningstar did not need it, as Morningstar kind of like does this flip up on the platform and rolls. <laughs> gives you this look like, I'm ready when you are. But okay. unfortunately Morningstar will take a point of strain for that threat, though. Look at that. That strain that I just got back already. Yeah. Got. <laughs> it's because you did the whole run up and flipped and rolled on top of the platform. You worked too hard at it. To look while good. not being seen. So who's going next? Uh, whoever goes next, you somebody Has use that blue, blue that I gave you. <laughs> <laughs> and let me know before you roll and I'll add it for you. Uh, okay. Sneaky computer guy. And... Chicago! <laughs> well... <clears throat> and he gives them all away. Yeah. <laughs> As You're you come, welcome. You come up and immediately you look at the, the defense weapon and immediately you see some really cool craftsmanship was put into it and you just kind of like do the whole hey... See how they've got that reverse modulation <coughs> coil wrapped around twice? That's how you get the extra accuracy for the planet's ionosphere. And then the t- Uma and Morningstar just kind of look at you like, shh. <laughs> As pretty much immediately, this guy here is fully aware that, you know, there's, there's folks whispering and talking so he's he's going to be coming shortly probably bringing his droid squad you you sense that that's going to happen any second now okay well shit so and it's Derek's, Derek's, Derek's turn <laughs> i'm aiming <laughs> okay on the lead so, dude uh, on the the flesh and blood dude yeah okay so just uh so i can add a blue and carry that Yep. Okay. You can do exactly that. That's going to be our little reminder right there. Little blue dot. All right. <clears throat> As, you know, Zarek just puts his rifle up on the one of the pieces of, you know, cargo and just lines up the shot on the poor bastard. So immediately you hear this, this whole, hey, you, who's out there? And, and he's going to kind of like come Allow on me. out there. And he immediately, I'm the first one he would see. He immediately pulls his pistol out of Uma and he's got his pistol drawn and he's like, What's the pass phrase? Oh, Ken sent me. What? And, <laughs> Ken <yes>. sent me. <laughs> and he Dr. looks Dr. back. Dr. At the, can't play without umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> and he immediately looks at the droids and says, Restrain them. And the droids kind of like, power to the people, free Ord Mantel. Death so to the is Republic. He or does he look like he's going straight past me towards, um, towards Janang? Uh, he seems to when he walks around, kind of sees you getting back up. You know, you rolled up there and you got back into a combat crouch, and the droid just comes out and unfortunately looks right at you. All right. As you guys realize, Janang is not the sneaky guy. Yeah. I don't know who you are, but some Republic guy is trying to steal my ship. And and both uh, for Uma and Morningstar, you kind of notice that these these labor droids are going to try to do a a haphazardly attempt to restrain one of your arms. You know, it's that classic big mechanical monster trying to grab grab the damsel by the wrist, which you don't think a simple labor droid 
fighting individually will be very good at that. But let's find out. Yeah, because, mm. you know, labor droids are made for combat. <laughs> yeah, well, they probably have better athletics than I do. So that's the one going for Uma. Oh, fuck. And it kind of clasps onto one of your wrists. It doesn't disarm you or anything, but just grabs a hold of you. And here's the one that goes after Morningstar, who, of course, you know, she... She nimbly dives out of the way as it grabs for what would have been your lightsaber arm, which would have been really bad. <laughs> but uh, it's it's going to give Morningstar a black die on her next action. Uh, wait a minute. The next one of them to go was supposed to have two blacks. Mm. Okay, okay. We'll roll two blacks on the one that went after Uma. See how Uma's trying to defend herself? Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's only fair. So only two successes and two advantage. <laughs> this is going to hurt. And this one does the chink, 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 chink. Uses its, its action as a second maneuver. Because obviously these guys have not uh, coordinated how they're going to work as a team. And who's going to go first? Mm. I, I'm waiting for, for Uma's reaction. Um... I will try and do a uh, uh, a deception on the guy, or not a deception, charm him. Uh, it's like, I thought you were supposed to be helping the people, and I'm one of those people. Okay, the uh, difficulty is set, but you know what? I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> nice So uh, roll when ready with your charm As you're doing the damsel in distress Okay hold on I could just see the The pouty Leku Yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah. So, so immediately you do the damsel in distress And the guy kind of immediately lowers his blaster he Looks Why kind are of you offering me he, he looks looks kind of ashamed, like, oh my god, it's it's a little little Twi'lek. I, I she reminds me of my kid sister and the, the the catalog calendar girl poster. At the same time, I have weird feelings. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, the lip, and the you, lip is trembling. <laughs> precious moment eyes. <laughs> eyes are glistening and getting moist and he, imme he immediately seems to be putting the blaster down and he kind of like puts his other hand up kind of like there there don't please don't cry just, just, just. and I'm like and he, <laughs> you know, like because he's got my hand he he's, he kind of looks back at his guys please that are on the control me. there and I he's like really good guys <laughs> Everything's okay, guys. It's 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 it's. Please miss. I, I I'm sorry. It's all just a misunderstanding. I mean, and of course you hear the cannon discharge, and he kind of like shirks down from the. From I'm, the and I'm gonna the, scream. Ah! You know, because the cannon fire sounded really uh, close. Shh. <laughs> all, all, all of you, 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 you pl please, please just be calm. We're, we're here to liberate the planet. We, just on the other side of that wall, and he points to the south of the wall. There, the the Republic forces that we don't want to get their attention. Uh, my 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 friends are further down with 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 one of their vehicles, keeping them pinned down. You just need to to remain calm. Were, were you got? Were you on that ship that landed? Yes. Sir, open fire. <laughs> <laughs> so who's going next? As as he seems to be completely suckered by her her pouty face, and of course the <laughs> droids are just holding on to the two of Uma, and it's just like, what do I do now? I'm an Intel One basic labor droid. I don't <laughs> take initiative. Is that still like I mean, at this point, hmm. Is that droid still coming at me at this point? 
Uh, it it kind of reached at you and then it missed and then it's still debating what it's going to do next. It's yep, basically we all go between. before they do. So, yep. <clears throat> all right, so I'm deferring to uh, to Zarek here because depending on whether or not he opens fire, I have I have my attack planned out, but I don't want to attack until I know we're going into combat. Yeah, well, I'm <coughs> aiming again and holding because. I'm not going to move until she gives the word and she's currently being held still. So, so well, Jim- I would like to try and move up and to that area and try and reprogram that dude real quick. I am creating quite the distraction. Yeah, my- exactly. she is. <laughs> like I'm it. flailing like who's. <laughs> Jim, real quick question: What is what is short range from me right now? Uh, about three to four squares. <clears throat> so, one, two, oops, that's the wrong tool. Damn it! Let's see if I can. That's the power of the force. You're making force <laughs> light. Right. right. <laughs> so I can probably jump to about right there. Uh, yep. Right there, ish. One of those two spots. Maybe right there, right there would be good. All right. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to wait until um, Janong does his his thing. And if that gets a negative reaction, I am prepared to... <coughs> prepared to do stuff. Okay. So, yeah, can I try and slice into that guy? Sure, he's he basically is, he's holding on to Uma's wrist, so he's completely oblivious to you. If you want to just slide on in there and just say, "Out with the bad data spike, in with the good data jack." All right. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, hold on, I, I was not ready for your dice pool yet. Oh, sorry, sorry. Damn it! Okay. I really want to keep that though. <laughs> <laughs> well here then I'll just roll one more purple because it was supposed to be two purple that was a very okay. potent purple it was, so but... you only have four successes three advantage and two triumphs only alright <coughs> alright so if you would like for all of your successes you 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 basically had your thumb ready to say run program so it's instantaneously when you jack jack into it that you've ran your program. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely that's the way it is. It's just like it's in and out done. Boop. <laughs> Motherfucker mine. Was it good for you? <laughs> <laughs> it was awful quick. <laughs> seven, <laughs> best seven, mi- mi- seven milliseconds of its life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 good. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. One, oh, one, oh. <laughs> uh, so I would like to give the next member of our team a blue die to roll. And... Uh, what can I do with triumphs again? I can't remember. So with the two of them, you could actually destroy one of their weapons when they fire it. Well, what I'll, I'll actually give you for two triumphs, because that's two motherfucking triumphs. Because triumphs of that line should be said as two motherfucking triumphs. <laughs> so <laughs> I will say that the three of them just happen to be synchronized with their comms. So that when you take control of one, you can take control of both of them. I was well, hoping you would say that. I, yeah. was, I was thinking that, but I uh, wasn't gonna wasn't gonna ask for it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so they are all mine now, right? They're all mine. Uh huh. Yeah. AFK, one quick sec. I need to do something about this cough. <clears throat> nice do job. not die. That's the first thing I want you to do about that cough. <laughs> Not dying is a very important step. Yes. Right. Indubitably. 
I mean, that was one hell of a roll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best slice ever. And you're welcome. <laughs> About time you start pulling your weight. Yeah, I mean, I can't do anything else. <laughs> no stealth, no nothing. Just, you know, computer? Got it. You like computers? That's my jam. And he can do uh, that. He can jam the computers. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what kind Not of range really, but jam. Could he actually shoot this guy from where he's at? Um, I don't know. What's the range on that? For Zarek? Well, those yeah, are minions there. Yeah. yeah, long range. He's got the long range covered. Yeah. yeah. So you should be able to hit that guy. Yeah. Well, they're minions. You're kind of, I'm kind of coordinating of which one is the most important one to go after. Well, yeah. I'm thinking that now that the droids are reprogrammed, they can turn around on this guy. <clears throat> I can I can get to this guy, and Zerk can shoot that guy. Yeah. But these are a minion group, right? Down here, the two. Maybe. Okay. Just looking at the uh, cool blaster bolt will go through them. Just looking at the you know initiative, but all right, where are we at on the niche, anyways? I think it's okay. me and you, and <laughs> yep, that brings us to Morning Star and Zarek. All of a sudden, the droids kind of do this in unison, Gah! as they they look at you all and they let go of Uma ex- and like they're expecting orders from you. Uma is now free. Yay! Uma is now free. Okay. I don't think they're going to even though she's us um, reprogramming their droids, so might as well. Um... Yeah, once they realize it. So, so yeah, yeah, I so... actually with I'm not that good of a shot, so I just assume shoot at the closer, which is probably definitely <laughs> a not a minion medium range. And so, it's, it's it's medium range, so that's that's an yeah. easier shot. There you yeah. go. I only got two green to shoot with, so well, two blue as well now. So I'm aiming and I'll shoot. So two blue. Let me add your blue in there. Click click, and you're good to go. All right. Survey says, "Wow." Uh, blue didn't help any, but that's all right. It's a hit. Yep, so you t- you line up, you take that shot, and uh, immediately... Wait a minute. Let's wait a see. Minute. Is that right? What are we wait? Wait, wait, wait. Is that... Do, do, do. Let me look at the long range heavy. Did That's I get better agility than that. No, no, I only got two, but I forgot. I guess I did upgrade. I was thinking I was just two green, but I forgot I upgraded the... Uh, I did upgrade the heavy... Uh, uh, ranged so nice. Sorry, I'm better than I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh shit, this worked. It's like, oh, yeah. pleasantless. I did better. <laughs> yeah, so that's seven. So nine points of damage. Nine. Yep. So conveniently, after Ahsoka three, that's enough to. He, he's got the sweetest fit look on his face where he's trying to keep Uma from crying, and Blaster Bolt just <laughs> hits him right in the head, and he <laughs> goes down like a sack of potatoes. Yeah. And immediately I stopped crying. <laughs> <laughs> and then she, I could just see her just rub her nose and, just, and done. Yep. And that scene. Okay, so um, Morningstar, immediately these two guys react to the blaster bolt come out and they're like, what? All right, so we're quick drawing the lightsaber and get ready to use one of them light side points because we are force jumping to here. Okay, kind of in between that this guy and the control panel. Yep. Okay, so is your force jump a move or is it an action? So, force jump is a... Darn it, I have <clears throat> one of these pages open here. Now I just need to find which one because I have a bunch of tabs open. <laughs> well, and you got to roll your force dice to see if you have the points to spend to do it. Take a force leap action. Make an enhanced power check. Using, no, that's not the right one, is it? No, come on. I swear I was just on the page to look this up. Because I know at, at higher levels you can actually make it a 
control force. A lead move to do it as opposed to an action. Yeah, it's on page 288. So force powers enhance. Let me see. Control, control. No, that's not it. And this is the moment the right I say Jedi are the most complicated class you can play in the game. <laughs> and with the least experienced Star Wars player of this this system is the one playing Jedi. <laughs> action, make an enhanced power check. The user may spend light side point to jump horizontally to any location in short range. Horizontally, okay. so that's up. No, vertical. Or vertically. Sorry. Across. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Wow, wow, way to go. <laughs> I'm trying to read and do that, so, like, so yes, you are correct. Hey, I'm, we've all had those moments. It's been... I'm trying to find the talent tree myself for quick reference, so yes. Hey, don't fuck with my cool move here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so where do I find this enhanced power check? Let's see here. It's your force die. Is that the one that I accidentally rolled earlier? Uh uh-huh, yeah. the little white one. You add one and then roll it to hopefully get some whites. Definitely not that one, huh? <laughs> yep. So it's going to be at the top of the character sheet. It's where it's underneath the dice pool, the little white uh-huh. with a zero. Just crank that up to a one and click roll. But the just make sure you're outside dice the box. right under it. Yeah, that's what I rolled and that's what it gave me. Mm. Oh, you know what? No. I, I didn't click out of the there box. You go. There you go. Roll it right. Hey, hey, excellent. Got nice job. Through. Yeah, if you don't click outside the box and if it's still the cursor's flashing, yep. it's 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 mean that it won't do that. So needless to say, you have two light side points, which I'm assuming you would like to use. Yep, I would definitely like to use. Okay, so you do the whole enhanced leap and you fly through the air like Jedi have taught us for countless ages now that Jedi do. You pirouette halfway through, don't you? Yes. <laughs> the, the separatist soldier looks up and goes, beautiful, as you blot out the sun for a second, as you land lightsaber in hand and lit up. And can I still attack him? Uh, yeah. All right. Then I'm going to attack this. You know, I'm going to attack this one, the one that's jacked in right now. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And that's my lightsaber skill, correct? Let me add your dice, give you your dice full. Okay, you're good to go. You still have that force dice clip at the top, by the way. (laughs) It's okay. So two successes. So what is the damage of your lightsaber? Oh, crap. Now I have to go over to my inventory page and... (laughs) Actually, you should have that loaded under as a weapon. Yeah, if you had that. it loaded as a weapon, it does uh, the damage at the same time. Oh, see, I should have probably rolled from here. Huh? And it allows you to, yeah, you roll from the weapon itself, and it'll figure that it'll show you damage, crit, and all that. Mm-hmm. But that's okay. Next time. But you're a young Jedi, and you're learning your character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> um, no idea. I don't even have it loaded in here right now. So <laughs> damage six. <laughs> so seven, eight points of damage. Needless to say, you lightsaber this guy into pieces. <laughs> in a very, very noble jedi kind of way. You know, all of a sudden, the the lightsaber hits him in that sleeve that had all those data spikes severing them in half so they can't be used again. As you just like, wow. No, we wanted those data spikes. (laughs) Really? Like, no. But but I wanted to remove those data spikes from play. Yes, you did. (laughs) And so you did. (laughs) Does um, does Trooper action in in, uh, Star Wars? What's that? Is speech a free action? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's Short a freebie. One. Yeah, I want to look at the other guy and say, who do you work for? And right now you see his eyes are huge saucers with the glow of your lightsaber reflecting off of them. And wow. he's, as he's realizing, Jedi. <laughs> 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 As you can see, he's got definitely got a look of panic on his face. That's, that's yeah, he's thing. probably peeing himself. Where are we kidding? So, of course, then we have the labor bots that just look at, you know, 
everybody's fl- favorite slicer there and just give you that whole by your command. Because, <laughs> <laughs> of course, we know Cylons. Janog, when he reprograms droids, they all become Cylons. <laughs> That's right. And we're talking old school OG Cylons, not the new ones. Yeah, yeah the exactly. toasters. Real Cylons. <laughs> And he was so good at the slicing, they were all smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Don't ask how he can hack their voice modulator to, to have smoke come out of it. But he can, in the coolest way ever. Please allow me so, a moment to test and disregard this roll. Hey. Ah. Oh, cool. So that works the way it's supposed to. Good. Yep, yep. And it gives all the little fluff and detail. Yep. Yep. Alrighty then. Okay, so literally, Janog, they're asking what you want them to do. Okay, so um... kill him. <laughs> <laughs> see if they can detain him. Keep one alive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll send. Yeah, I guess. I'll... Well, that's a long ways for them to move. Yep, you you pretty much figure if they're going to go after him, it's going to be both their action and their maneuver just to get there. Yeah. And then they'll just surround him. That'd be a good start. Yeah, I guess, like, they, well, let's see, have one, yeah, I guess, one go here and then one go there or there. That way you can't run. Just back, box them in on the four diagonals. <laughs> right? Yeah, I can't move them. So, yeah. I guess I tell them to detain this guy. That's what I tell them. And Don't let him leave. By <laughs> your command. As this one kind of like comes over here as far as he can get. And this one comes over here as far as he can get. And this one walks away from the Jedi, walking up and kind of steps right in front of the Jedi. <laughs> they do that whole hands out like they're almost like zombies or mummies running towards him. Right. So okay. that was short it's... range for that one. Is there any chance that he can try to grab the dude? Oh, okay. Never mind. You just moved him to the other side. That works. God, As they go lumbering with their big, heavy labor arms. Detain, detain. <laughs> and immediately this guy's going to do the whole, oh shit. And he throws his pistol down looking at the Jedi and says, I surrender, don't kill me, please. <laughs> That's the response I wanted. Good enough. And you can just see the mechanical hands are still reaching towards him to detain. From his view, the screen just slowly blacks out as these droid hands all come down on top of him. The ominous shadows. Right. And uh, pretty much, I mean, if, if if you want to break initiative right there, you've got him restrained. I mean, there's there's combat going on right around the corner, but you can basically talk to him, interrogate him, whatnot, because he's he is slowly going to his knees even before the droids are grabbing <laughs> his arms and shoving him down towards the ground. Yeah, light uh, lightsaber will go away at this point then. And... I'm sure he'll breathe easier for that. As the smoky uh, smell of lightsabered flesh hits <clears throat> Uma's nostrils. Ugh. I make that Just light gonna... noise, smell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to reiterate my question, you know, who is leading this uprising? Uh, uh, it's General Nors. He, he's, he's, he's our leader. He, he came to the planet saying that he would, he would free everyone. And where can we find General Nors? I, 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 I'm not exactly sure where, where he would be any time soon, but, but I, I think he was, was hanging out at one of the, the local cantinas that we captured in Tolaran Village. Just, just to the southeast. He, 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 he's, he's seriously planning on taking Fort Garnick over, and he, he, you don't want to make him mad, or his, or his, 
his girlfriend because they'll drag you out and shoot you. His and girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> you don't want to make me mad. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, the two gals in the crew meet like girlfriend. Yeah, no, I'm a... you mean oh. he's her man friend, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I go over and look in the hangar there and wave uh, our our friend over. Okay, he he immediately looks very relieved that the the dangerous stuff has ended, and and you're, you're gesturing for him to come join you guys. Yep. We'll join. Okay. He'll gladly come out now that it seems that all is safe. As there's a poor guy with three droids on top of him. <laughs> being very, very ominously friendly as only droids can. So I want to start uh, slicing into this uh, thing here. Okay, so you immediately whip out the, the data stick that some amateur hacker gave to these guys because apparently they can't hack themselves. So he, they, someone sliced a data stick to remote control this bad boy. So go ahead and give me a computer's roll as you whip out your data stick and show, show them what you got. So somebody's remote controlling that uh, so any ship that takes off gets attacked. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Where's Bing? Programmed it. Jeez. You like your uh, triumphs, huh? Right. I guess. What Jesus. The, uh, what was the name of that general? Nors. Nors, yeah. He, we didn't get a name on the girlfriend. Nope, just girlfriend. Makes her way more ominous. <laughs> <laughs> and I do. Uh, I am asking about the girlfriend. What is? Who is this girlfriend? Tell us more about her. Uh, she, she, she's... she's some some off worlder that that came with the general that you know she 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 does all of the the and he kind of looks around work. the wet work the dirty work when someone needs to disappear and he mm -hmm. you, you it's an audible gulp as he says that like you know obviously you get the idea this kid is a green kid who's just given a gun and sent to sent to free his planet you know he was given the Kool Aid and you know mm -hmm. he, he's very intimidated by her. And he's like, I, I, I can't tell you more or she'll kill me. That, um, that sounds good enough. Captain, yeah. I say we turn him over to the soldiers on the other side of the wall. Hmm. Do I really want to just serve up some kid to the Yes. Well, he is. <laughs> um, maybe they can recondition him. <laughs> okay, well, more importantly, I want to be able to make sure that my ship can leave. So, sorry, kid. Good luck with your revolution and all, but it's, uh, it's uh, making my life difficult, and that has to stop. <laughs> yeah, I think Janon got that, probably. He, you know... Three successes, the advantage, and a triumph. Yep. Literally. Did he know where? Did did, uh, did he know where General Norris and his girlfriend were? He, just, he didn't he specify just the cantina southeast. at one of the cantinas. You know, basically that that's all you're getting out of him, unless you want to try to push harder. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I'm like, uh, I mean, come on. He's of drinking age, obviously, right? Yeah. He's got to know the name of one of the bars. I'm just saying. Well, it's it's a farm community. There's like four cantinas. Yeah, Most of only them are four. Bar. They're barn. So, well, I think that uh, drinking age is twelve. <laughs> yeah. The drinking age is: Are you old enough to to either sit on the stool or reach up okay. to the bar? <laughs> All right, I'm going to just try and say a charm. Like, come on, just give us a name. Okay, and the difficulty is set. So. <laughs> wow. Hey, so, it was a success. <laughs> it was a success. <laughs> 
So so immediately he he kind of like looks at you and you're just like, hey, give him the Han Solo charm. You know, you've changed from the sweet little kid charm to now the scoundrel charm of, hey. And, and he looks at you and says, you know, I I think now now that I, I, I really think about it, they, they, they were talking about after they they secured the, the def- air defense system that they were possibly going to be heading out to a different location. But they'll either be in Tolerant Village at probably Rosen's Cantina or they could be taking the secret. And he kind of like looks around the, the, the secret boat and going to Oradam Village, which is over there to the west. She's typing this down. <laughs> By the way, I will f- flash over to the map since I'm mentioning all these places so you could actually s- get a reference. So basically he's saying it's probably in a, they're probably in a cantina here or they'll be taking one of their secret boats to over here afterwards. But he's pretty sure that they're here. Because there happens to be a nice little cove here where you can jump into one of those cool and Star Wars. you're here. And you're yeah. here. And the but fort our, you want to go to is over yeah. here. Our mission's here. <laughs> mm-hmm. So then I say, let's, if we're going to investigate him, we do it there. Because, you know, keeps us sort of in the same vicinity. It's more of an arc instead of a zigzag. Exactly. Um, I like that uh-oh. Okay, so now we're getting involved in the revolution? Not necessarily. We're just making the information available to us in case. Just in case. Or you're rolling like a, a ball. See, so you're rolling. You're doing, you're doing a revelation, a revolution, revolution to get to the uh, <laughs> revolution. Yeah, I, I like the, uh, the pun there, yeah. Sarita. You like there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's out so time. now that uh, <laughs> Janong has uh, obvious control over this tower, uh, theoretically, we should be able to swat. I mean, theoretically, we could take off, right? Theoretically, you, you have this tower down. It's one no, third less three. likely that you would get shot out we of the air. We gotta take down all three towers. Yep. Okay. I mean, you could try to fly. It's just going to be a little difficult with well, two guns shooting ion and laser bolts at you that are meant to blow up big ships. It's like, well, then, uh, a, what about a uh, land speeder type of thing? Uh, 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 the only land speeder that wasn't destroyed yet is the one that 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 our squad commander captured up up in the hill and he kind of points up in the hill direct direction of through the gates and basically like over here because i should probably do that on the right map so you can see it oh, oh over here is this is the last speeder and if you go to the very bottom of your map you'll see where i'm pinging yep. Yeah. Uh, they, they've blown up all the ones you know with grenades so that way they could control the only one and they're they're using it to to make a fast getaway once we secure the the, the starport here hmm. and how many men are guarding it i mean because not that it, camp. The, the commander's personal squad of six troopers they're some of the best of the conscripts that he's managed to get <laughs> well, we could try and have the guy radio to the commander to um, bring the vehicle in. I see our Jedi wall. This is going on. is sneaking up ahead. Well, I moved up to the wall to peek out to see what I can see. And he looks up and says, no, no, all, all the communications have been jammed. Uh, there's, there's a jammer in the truck that should be keeping the, 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 the Republic forces from talking to each other. 
raspberry. The general is very <laughs> smart. He thinks of everything. He will be five steps ahead of you. You should, you should give up and join the revolution now. You can just you can just taste the Kool Aid on his breath. <laughs> Why didn't we just finish him? It'd been easier. And yeah. as as uh, Zarek and Morningstar sneak up to the wall, Morningstar immediately sees three Republic troops. They're down behind this little barricade that's here, and they're getting shots fired at them. So they're, you can see they've been roughed up and hit a few times by long-range blaster bolts. And, and they only have small little, you know, the heavy blaster pistols. So no, nice. they're, they're more concerned with taking cover than actually securing the starport, as you can tell. Oh, yeah. What kind of... What kind of weapons did these guys have on them? These kids just had... As I'll wait for the dog to stop barking. Just had Podunk blaster pistols. That's what That's what all three of them were carrying. Basically, your basic, typical space blaster pistol. I'll pick one up. Before we move on, I'll pick one up. Okay. Can can the can the robots use them? Well, I mean, you can give a labor bot a pistol, and they can attempt to use it. I was going to say, but, I don't know if they uh, got fingers. <laughs> That's what I was have, wondering. They have one green. Yeah, but what we could do is we yeah, could put the labor bot then. Uh, and send them out the gate to draw fire and yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're they're sponges. Yeah, that's totally thing you can do. Send them out as decoys. Wow. Yeah, but I still want I still want one of the blaster pistols though. Does wow. anybody care if I pick one up? No, no. Yeah. No. By all means, wow, you can easily pick it up, dust it off, and say they're not Fine. people to you. You're just going to send them out to be destroyed. <laughs> no, <laughs> I like there are three. Well, you don't know. You haven't spent any time to get to know them. <laughs> How rude. Yeah, yeah. Droids are people too. So I'm moving up to the edge of the wall here, so I can see down over here. So you, you see these three Republic troops. You know they're pretty much cowering behind their their little barricade with their pistols held at the ready. With three guys that are wearing the same kind of armor as these the schmoes you just took out, except their armor looks actually effective. And every now and then, as they're going pew pew with their blaster, you know, they seem to have, you know, just basic light carbines. All of a sudden, this person who's wearing really nice armor, by the way, like really nice armor. Which and person? A nice, the, the one that, that's right there okay. that everyone is pinging on. I like that. That's good teamwork, <laughs> guys. He's got a really nice long range rifle that is easily within these guys' range. And you can tell that he's if they were to stick their head up for too long, he would probably drop them in one shot. Okay. So send in the droids, you know, for to provide some cover for us. We can follow in right behind the droids. And, uh, yeah. I'm now, gonna... I will also offer that you guys could walk around the wall this way. True. True. Let's... Behind the cover that they're using, too. That's or true. you guys can go this way in the open. Yeah, but then that's that How much, much farther to try is, to shoot. Are, Let's is have, this like another level? I mean, these guys are up here, so is this like is, a cliff or something? This is a cliff, but this is a little road that's been cut into the cliff that goes to a tunnel. So theoretically, we could try and stealth oh this way. Yeah, let's stealth. That worked out for us so well. <laughs> well, some can, but... <laughs> we go around the wall from this side... I mean, these guys could be dead by then, so... And and have the three droids come out the main gate this way. So the droids are acting as a nice distraction for us while we come in from up here and flank them. There's no gate out that way. Which yeah. way did Jim say we could go around? Oh, he said this we could way. go around the back of the wall. All right. this, oh, is a, yep. this is an opening, yep. but there's no opening. We'd have to go all the way around the hole. Yeah. Well, I can always cut an opening through one of these walls. <laughs> that is true, actually. He can. <laughs> so I mean, that, that. We can't walk again. back this way? Again, yeah, you guys go your way. I'm going to hold here at the wall, and I'm going to be ready. I'm going to, I mean, these guys are going to. I don't care. 
These guys I mean, are they're be not going to be expecting long, it from so. here. Yeah, but from except for when the lightsabers, attack? except for when the lightsabers melting through the wall, and they're like, "What's that light over there along the wall?" Okay, so we right. do it over here. Now the Jedi then, could probably pop up and over the wall with his. And this enhanced. is like a sheer cliff right here. So someone would have to make a really good athletics roll. Yeah. And this would be. I could do that. Too I close could do to that. Here. No, why don't we just go? <laughs> why don't we have the jet thing from over here, <laughs> and everybody else can come from over because here? Because normally we don't split the party. <laughs> it's Star Wars. We'll you can good. totally split you the party. You can totally. Well, it's not this is splitting. Really We're not going the party right. It's the same engagement. We're just coming from yeah. different sides. Yeah, it's not splitting. Splitting, you're going totally different. It's a pincer totally maneuver, area. not splitting the party. Yeah. So anyway, I send. I'm giving you a five count to move wherever. I'm staying here to to pop a shot on the guy. I'm gonna wait and watch for him to pop up again to shoot at these poor guys. How tall is this wall? The wall is about 15 feet tall. It's it's meant to give a starship nice cover when they land in it, so there's privacy to do the smuggling things that ships do that don't want to be paparazzied. Right, okay, so, yeah. I'll be right back. I need to go see what the dogs are chewing on because they're chewing <laughs> on something. That's not so. Good. Finish your strategizing, and then I'll come back and kill you all <laughs> for these guns. <laughs> Chewing is never good. All right. So, because if we're going this way, I assume like, these guys are going to fire on us. So, well, yeah, you're going to come up on them behind. If I start firing at the people that shooting at them, these guys shouldn't fire at us, especially if we're bringing this guy as a prisoner. Well, they don't know that they're right. in the middle of being, keeping their heads down, getting shot at. It could be the people that are in there coming up behind them. Well, that's so. why. You you basically come around the corner with clear intent and you know basically calling out to him, hey, we're we're on your side. We we cleared out the guys in control of the tower, and here's a prisoner for you. Okay, we can try it. Well, I'm staying where I'm at, hunkering down, getting a name in on on the sniper dude, and just, I'm gonna pop his pop your shot off. Uh, your um, gun can reach him, correct? Yeah, that's like medium or long. Might be just at long. So yeah, I'm going to basically cut through the wall right here. And then work my way down along the outside of the wall. So these guys here, we're not going to kill? No. no. Those, those are the, the Republic. They're yeah, the okay. Republic. They're the ones that have been... It's the pro appropriate law and order on the planet. <coughs> if anything, these are the guys that are going to ensure that this tower doesn't get taken back over. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I'll send my three so, dudes. I'm going to send my three dudes just fucking, I don't care about them. We're going to march over there because they can't, they can't make it down over this area. Yeah, There's no, no way. just send them through the gate here. Yeah, I'm gonna send them. Yep, yeah, exactly. Towards there, these but, guys. Yep. Line them up, ready, but don't go until I get a pop shot off on the uh, sniper dude. That's fine. I don't want him. I'll have them. I'll have them hold us. until you fire, and then that will be their key to start marching forward. Yep. Yeah, let me get to right around here before. Before we do any firing or any craziness. Well, assuming you stealth all the way there without any problems. True that. I, mean, I don't. I don't want to wait long. I mean, you. If we're firing at them, then they're going to be distracted. If I start firing, then that may give cover, give relief, so that these guys can start firing back. Otherwise, they're going to get picked yep. off, and we're not going to have the extra firepower by the time yep. everybody exactly. gets moved Good everywhere. Point. Good point. Yeah, it's it's one of those. Times of an essence when they're getting just barraged and not able to return fire. Okay. Okay, so plan is set. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, so gone, I cut a hole through the wall right here. <laughs> and so he lines the droids up over by me. 
And as soon as I, I am sighting in, waiting for Sniper Dude to pop his head, and as soon as he does, I'm popping a shot on him, and then the droids will move out. And Janong and I will be, well, he's, I guess it's just me with the prisoner. I mean, we can have one of the droids hold on to the prisoner. Yeah, you don't need them all out well, there. Why don't we just kill the prisoner? Because <laughs> we're not <laughs> clearly cold blood. Because we're not cold. monsters. <laughs> As you look at the Jedi and you're just As like, why don't we off. kill the prisoner? And the Jedi now, just taps her foot if we holding her lightsaber. In, if we had killed him in combat, that would have been great, but... No, no. Yeah, but see, you guys have all now left me. <laughs> well, see, that's uh, when like the prisoners uh, not there with you. Uh you can you're not alone. Them. If you want to come with me over here. Yeah. So you're basically, I, we're, gonna, we're gonna have the prisoner go with with me. me. Yeah. Uh, before they get anywhere as far in front as of me, out there, it'll be my I'm, meat shield. Before they get anywhere that far along, I'm popping a shot at the sniper as soon as he comes up, whether they're in positions or get however far they get. So I want, don't want him distracted from. Okay, so Uma does that double click of her communicator to tell you that she's in position. So a few minutes pass, you all get in position. There's a nice little hole cut through the wall over here, thanks to the Jedi. Right. So I will be already. But, but even if they're not out, if the sniper puts his head up, I'm shooting, whether they're in position or not. So, Okay, so you get one chance to take a shot at the sniper when the sniper before everything happens. Yep. So you're going to be a long range. So let me set your okay. dice. Does he get a blue drop? Um, you're aiming, aiming. But also yes, because well. he doesn't know you're there. So, I like yeah. how she's helping you out there. Yeah, yeah. She, he does, so you've got, he's got two blue dice. <laughs> so you get one freebie shot on their, their yep. crack shot. You want to take before. an upgrade? Light what, do you think point? I'm, what do you think I'm getting ready to click here? Awesome. <laughs> we got them. Okay, so you've got two blues, an upgrade against long range. Yep. As all of a sudden, you've been waiting for the sniper to take a shot at these guys. All of a sudden, the head comes up and it tilts onto the, the rifle stock as the sniper's about to take a shot. Were you ready? Yep. Ah, no advantage. Darn it. All right, but that's okay. Oh, darn. <laughs> It's still 10 points. Oh, only 10 points of damage. Yeah. And his soak is like 20, so you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> eh, sniper, probably not that good, but probably You're decent. a glass half empty kind of slicer, aren't you? <laughs> but I, well, I, I don't... had the black dice for defense that did jack. No. Because so, it is good armor. Yeah, yeah. So out of the blue, he's like, Points. And then I'm assuming initiative. <laughs> yep. And then we'll start with our initiative and we'll just use the same old initiative because it works that way. Okay. Except I probably um, roll better this time. I was going to say you need to put the troopers in, right? Well, I was going to use the uh, troopers oh, the as droids. the last initiative slot, slot. Oh, okay. Because it's more fun that way. Sure, sure. All right. Oh, you put a nice ding in the side of uh, the sniper's helmet. Got people and then all the shit starts to happen. So who's going next? I can start moving down the wall. Because it's not going to be too exciting. Okay. So you move to about right here. And then you see a sheer cliff that you can either... Force jump or do athletics. What about coordination? I'll give a co I'll give you a coordination. Let me set up your difficulty. And then I say Janon go next, sending your bots out. Mm -hmm. That Ready way when you are. they're distracted instead of right. Uma going. Oh darn it! I still had a thingy. Day. No, I didn't. 
I get uh, light side points as part of that roll. If there you, if go. you choose to use your light side dice, yep. So right. that that counts as you know more successes. Yep. Okay, yeah. so you you easily coordinate yourself back to solid ground. As literally, she was doing that really cool black ops style running on the side of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically, I am just full round move action. I want to get as far up this wall as I can this round. Okay. All right, so Morningstar is really hoping for some more distraction besides sniper fire coming back at these guys, which was <laughs> quite effective at getting his attention. I'm sure it was. Somebody He's rattled like, his cage. Somebody's got a real blaster and knows how to use it. His allies were. Wow, I wouldn't go that far, but yeah. <laughs> so who's going next? Yeah, so now uh, the droids. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, Janong. Yeah. Yeah, so the droids will start marching up the hill. Towards, towards these guys. The hill. Yeah. <laughs> Power to the hey. people! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You, they're not pushing hey, you hey, with hey. them. Leave me alone. No, 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 no. <laughs> you got taken. <laughs> you are assimilated. So, by the way, as soon as they come out, they're you know they're doing their thing. These guys are shooting at them. By the way, they don't seem to be doing too much damage, but they, they're taking pot shots at them as they come by. Hold fire on the bots. <laughs> Do you say yeah. that? Yes. Yeah, I yell, okay. I, I yell at them. Stop shooting my shit. <laughs> yeah, they probably didn't really see my shot since they were bunkered down. Oh, since true. they keep diving down behind, you know. The only thing you're seeing is the tip of their blaster pistols as they duck down. Like, yeah, they're there to help stop side. shooting them. <laughs> You know, they're not really looking at your droids. They're kind of sticking one hand over gangster style, shooting over the wall. So who's going next? Um, I'll go next. Uh, Okay. The chimer's like, you know, hey, the bots are on side. We freed the tower. Here's the one of the guys. uh, Here's a prisoner. Are, Are you getting close enough to talk to them and take cover? Is this close enough to talk to them? Because <laughs> I don't want them to shoot at me. Well, they don't seem to be like they're shooting at you. So you get to like right here to start talking to them. Yeah, it's like, guys, we're on your... We're trying to help you. As you throw your prisoner down to the ground so he doesn't get shot. Yeah. Because you never know. And, and immediately they're like, oh, oh, thank God, you're not with the Separatists? No, those it's- bastards might shoot my ship out of the sky. We're trying oh, okay. to res- help you restore order. You, you're, you're the pilot of the ship? Yes. What oh. the hell is going on here? There's been some kind of uprising on the planet. Our, our commander at the fort's been complaining about, you know, the, the people have been getting uppity and, you know, some kind of talk about peasant revolt type of thing. But but some idiot actually motivated these people to do to actually do that and try to uprise against the Republic. Thousands of worlds against a bunch of farmers on Ord Mantel. These guys are idiots. Yeah, well, but the problem apparently- is they're well-armed idiots. I can't. <laughs> I kind of kick the foot Worst of the guy kind. that I just threw down. It's like, yeah, this guy says it's some general named Norris and his girlfriend. General Norris, we've, we've heard that name mentioned. And immediately he, like, whips out his, his Star Wars fancy bracer and kind of, like, hits a button. And it kind of scans the kid. And it pops up with his ID and name. And he reads off the kid's ID and name. And the kid's just, like, shirks down like he's, you know, 16 <laughs> old farmer born on this planet knows nothing off the side off the world of this planet yeah known in front getting drunk and discharging a blaster in public yeah it sounds like this general douchebag uh is <laughs> inciting these these naive you know backwater rubes into combat that they could never hope to win and as soon as you say that, they're like all nodding at you. And the guy who seems to be the one in charge clicks his little bracer thing and scans you too. Mm. Hey, I'll come up fine. Now, quick. I question. have, I have the the thing to be there. I have the permission. You do, but 
since your obligation of criminal came up. Oh no! <laughs> what is your wanted uh, nom de plume? Um, de- my wanted nom de plume. Um, uh, we'll say uh, Amu. Uh, Amu. We we move the vowels around. Yeah. Amu. Well, immediately, a little little hollow of Amu wanted poster pops up. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, what is the crime that you are wanted for as a criminal? Um. Well, I mean, probably <laughs> smuggling. <laughs> um. <laughs> you have a ship full of guns. Maybe you're a smuggler. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, it's it's probably smuggling. Okay, so immediately he gives you this double look. I mean, his his colleagues are like, they're just glad another person's here besides them getting shot at. And he gives you the cough look of like, we're like, going to have... Don't give me that crap. Like, you never did anything wrong when you were young. And he kind of reiterates what he said earlier about, I don't know how they're so well armed. Yeah, well, it's not me. This is the first time I've been to this backwater town in friggin', you know, 12 parsecs. <laughs> Are we talking distance or time? <laughs> it's Star Wars. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so so he's immediately, you sense, on guard against uh, your, your silver tongue Laku. You know, I don't have to help you guys out. I really don't. I'm putting my life and my crew's life on the line to help your sorry asses. The <laughs> least of you could do. And screaming and yelling over <laughs> yeah. there. It's like, what the? are going <laughs> off. The least you could do is cooperate. Don't give me the friggin'. And just as you say that, a blaster bolt explodes over your guys' head and screen swipe to the last one of the group to go. Uh, I guess that's me. The question is, can you hear their arguing over the blaster fire? Probably. <laughs> so, Zarek, you know your voice you're pretty well. kidnapped by the Three Stooges droids. <laughs> You've already rang this guy's bell once, but he's definitely behind cover right now. He's behind cover, so I'll <laughs> shoot at one of the other idiots that are up, the closest guy, the top guy. Okay. All right. I will aim. So I get just one blue this time. Blue's in there. Okay. We ready? Yep. All right. Jesus. As immediately you line up the shot and you take the shot. But the problem is the, the, the guy is ducking down just as you're about to shoot. And instinctively your hand reflexively follows him. And hits the barricade in front of them. Now, you do miss, and you kind of get pissed at yourself for a second and kind of like shake your head hitting the wall because just pure frustration. But you do have a triumph. Would you yeah. like to do something like destroy their barricade so they're all exposed? Oh, that would be awesome. I'll yeah. give you that for a triumph. And I've had taken the two strain, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because if it was three, you'd be out of ammo. Yeah. So immediately you take that shot and because you did follow the guy's head down below cover, you managed to hit like the pivotal stone that's holding this concrete barricade up and immediately the cover disappears in front of him. It just like slams down forward and you're seeing the four of them look kind of embarrassed as their cover just, their cover went from cover to merely concealment. Nice. As they're realizing, holy shit, we're out in the open now. <laughs> we don't get no black yeah. dice for defense, feel except bl- for the feel, guy that's got defense. Feel naked now, like oh shit! Oh, hopefully they totally all start naked. this way. <laughs> so first off, oh, guy with the big geez. rifle is going to shoot at the droids doing their thing because why? Why, why not shoot at the droid? Well, yeah. I'm just just going to say, why would you not shoot at the droids coming right at you? Because the droids are friendly looking. <laughs> Not ominous at all. No. Yeah. (laughs) He's like, what did these idiots do on the other side of the wall? They had one job. Yeah, that's probably. (laughs) 
That's funny. And we'll move them a little closer to make his shot easier. <laughs> nice. <laughs> How considerate. Well, you know. I'd have, <laughs> I'd have done it. And you stretched them out, too, so they're bigger targets. <laughs> oh, Damn. That's, that's, oh, that, ignore that. That's a, that's a grenade. That's not the right thing. I was going to say, what the... So uh, he lines up the shot. Still not that great. <laughs> right? Still sucks, but... 12 point of damage don't suck. And needless to say, he, he vaporizes one right through the center torso, and it just does the... Burr, into the ground. You know me. I like droids. My little and then he does this him. whole... Get behind the wall because he's not paying attention to the, the Jedi climbing the wall that, you know, should totally not be able to do that. <laughs> Which, by the way, Jedi, mm -hmm. as you're sneaking up there, you realize these little things here. Mm hmm are actually hovercraft boats Ooh, that yeah. they beached and then covered up so that you couldn't see them as they crept and snuck up. Mm. Mm -hmm. I should just throw that out there now that you're over there and you can clearly see them because you're like, oh, I didn't see the camouflage netting before. Excellent. How many people can fit in one? Uh, they look like one person little, uh, oh, they're like slightly bigger than a uh, speeder bike, mm -hmm. but they're big enough that one person and cargo can easily ride in it. So and you can how many of them? There's four of them. Huh. You could possibly shove a second person on there if you want to get really cozy. And these three guys are basically going to volley fire on the next droid because, you know, that's that's what you do. Right. And, of course, they're going to aim, too, because, you know, it keeps the dice pool the same. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn. Right? Well As played, they Bob. shoot this guy, they damage him, but they don't kill him. Nice. He's, like... Barely on his his last servo, but uh, they're 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 still in there and kicking for their master. Dog, we will fight Yay. for the people. Okay, so who's so going first? Separatist guy or our Republic guy should notice now that rounds aren't ringing on them. Uh huh. As they're looking at Uma, but uh, they're 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 busy in conversation, getting yelled at by an angry Twilight. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. there is that. <clears throat> Try to do something nice for somebody, but no. <laughs> All right. I'll go so back. I'm going to lean across and, right, sir. and take a pop shot at Numbnuts there. Okay, let me set up your dice pool. Are you, oh, are you aiming? I will aim. Okay, you are ready. Yeah, because I want to get another shot, soften him up before he gets around the corner. Or you All hope. right. I hope. All right, let's see. Whoops, where'd it go? Oh, helps if I'm on the right tab. All right, here we go. Ah. It's it's he runs like a track star, man. Yeah, but we'll give him a black. Okay, so he's got black dice in his next action. So we tripped him up a little bit. You know, he was running, and then you you fired right at his feet and caused him to stop and go, this is totally not the blasters of one of these Republic guards. Who the <laughs> hell is shooting at me that knows how to shoot? Okay, so who's going next? I've got nothing exciting going on, so I can go next. Okay. I'm moving down the wall. Stealthy-like. Okay. So, like, to right there? Yeah, right about there-ish. If I can okay. get a little further than that, I would love to. But we'll stop right there. And, um... Your difficulty for stealth has been added. Oh! <laughs> Needless to say, as you can see, he is very perceptive. 
bastard. <clears throat> so you fail in stealth, but you have a triumph. All right. Um, fail with style. <laughs> I'd love it if I startled him and he actually drops his rifle. Probably not. Okay, so... Um, I agree, but... Uh, that's all, uh, <laughs> Probably not. Uh, uh, disarming him, I can't quite give you since you failed. All right. But uh, you could totally distract him in some other way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I flash him. <laughs> I, get, I get flashbacks of the one Star Trek where, you know, Uhura does the dance of nine veils. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dancing for this fool. <clears throat> All right. Um... You you call it dancing? It was actually your coordination of, of rolling and, and jumping. And this guy's like, so bitch. Dance fighting. It's yeah. Jumanji. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can do that. We can just say my leaping across the um, <clears throat> my leaping across the the craggy rocks here has kind of startled him. <clears throat> Ironically was enough, more dist- I had a Cyan character that long before Jumanji ever came out of uh, the, the movies, she actually had dance fighting. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Needless to say, he's going to lose his next turn and be exposed completely out in the open as he's looking at you going, huh. You know, he's seeing you, you do, you're more distracting than Luke Skywalker's montage in The Last Jedi where he's fishing and getting green milk <laughs> as he watches you <laughs> dance across the cliff face. And since I've been seen, I might as well quick draw my lightsaber. Okay, as, as back now, are you lighting it? Not quite yet. Okay. So that'll draw too so much. So who's in. going next? Is the dogs outside are losing their mind again? <laughs> dogs are going next. <laughs> right? They're like, my turn. <laughs> we'll let the dogs out. Ooh. Hey, what you doing, Janon? Um. Is there like anything I can uh, slice or? Yes, you can slice the cannon and shoot at them. (laughs) Watch him make an amazing roll, and he shoots the round up, shoots a spaceship out of the sky, and it crashes into these guys. (laughs) Somehow missing the rest of us. Yeah, that's that's how it's going to work. You know, you shoot the wing off a ship, and the wing lands right on top of them and only them. Never question the slice. Uh, is, life. is this thing is this connected to like the mainframe of the entire uh, like it, the it network? Is, it is connected to the planetary defense grid. Alright. So you can try to dig deeper in. Yeah, that's kinda like so these guys have comms, right? Yeah, the 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 separatists do have comms. All right, so I want to try. Can I do that yet? Listen in on them if you can. See what their uh, what their plans are. Can I try and uh, decrypt their communication? Yeah. Well, well, thankfully they they don't trust these guys too much, so they give them like kitty walkie talkie comms. <laughs> so it's it's immediately you pick it up and you see they're on channel four six Q. Okay. As you're you're kind of hearing from this helmet here, a half second before he was distracted by seeing this this amazing Jedi doing her pirouette through the cliff, saying, "Fall back, fall back, fall forward, fall forward." <laughs> I was gonna say, can I tell him to advance? Be like, advance, advance! No, you idiots, advance! Uh, I will give you a uh, upgrade on a deception check if you'd like. Uh, sh- hey, anything's possible, man. Sure. <laughs> like we're all fine here. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, I've got. 
I've got the typical one of these separatist troopers discipline in there with a free upgrade for you. Here it goes. Oh, oh. What? oh, that one's on wrong. I'm the wrong, wrong character sheet. Ignore that. Um. <laughs> I like that. I, one, I just though. put it on. The, like, I put that's it on the impressive. That's, that's your deception. Really? I was gonna say that's your deception. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> And you were, and here you were like, well, I don't know, I'll try it. Okay, try it again. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's just like, I sweet talk huts for a living. Yeah. Right? No, it's still wrong. Why is it so wrong? Do you have upgrades uh, on your side? Did You, you might have some, dice? look at your dice section, you may have some dice up there. Because uh, I've only got zero. a All right, hold on. Let me... Uh, I'm just going to do it up there like I did last time. I'm sneaking into your character sheet. That's yeah. Now yeah. the dice pool must be messed up. And yeah, see, there's my deception. Yeah, there it went. Yeah. That looks much better. That's weird. Okay, so uh, unfortunately your uh, yeah, one yellow worked. and green did not beat the one purple. As you're like, <laughs> yeah, it advance. Do not take cover. Do not fight smartly. Advance. <laughs> like, fight who in the hell is you. this? What's your well, you call know what? sign, no, I, no, soldier? I, you know what? I, can I change? Uh, can I, oh, damn it. All right, fine. That's fine. I know what I'm doing <laughs> next time, though. No, <laughs> next time, I'm just going to send, like, a huge sonic burst over the radio waves and fucking ah. Well, that's what I did, attempt. Done. It was worth the attempt. Do the whole static to, to scramble their channels back. That'll yeah, teach yeah. them. So, Amu, what what are you doing as you're, you're, you're <laughs> talking with this guy? <laughs> um, Wanted to be still flashing up. Uh, I'm basically going to, I'm going to attempt to charm. Um, uh, it's like, you know, come here. We're firing on them. We're like, you know, it's a yeah, rough life for a young business for you. <laughs> yeah, it's a rough life for a young female twilight. Do you know how hard it is to make your way in the world and not be subjugated to the horrors that are out there? You know, it's like, but no, blame the girl for trying to get work. <laughs> it's like I'm I mean, sensing this whole Harley Quinn ink here. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, I don't know what more you need, you want from us. It's like, we came here, we have, I have proper papers. See, <laughs> it's like, but now we come flying into this shit storm. It's like, and we're helping you, and all we get is suspicion and meanness. I mean, really. <laughs> and I'll give you a blue dice because you squeak. <laughs> okay, so uh, give me just a sec. <laughs> Your dice pool is set with the difficulty upgraded once because, well, they know you're a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> but you get a blue because you squeaked. Shit. I mean, okay. really? In two so minutes, you... we did more against them than you did in a... <laughs> Freaking hour! And that's why the charm failed. <laughs> because all of a sudden he glances around and there's two dead young soldiers when you're berating him this way. And he just kind of glares at you with cold gray, I seen some shit during the war with the Sith girl. Look. And he takes his pistol and kind of doesn't jam it in your face or anything, but kind of holds it at his hip in your general direction. And he just says, listen here, girl. I'll allow you to stay on this planet as long as it takes for you to do whatever you're doing. But after this separatist uprising is over, I'm going to inspect your ship for whatever you're carrying. Now, if your crew and he kind of re gestures over the wall because he still hasn't even noticed that their <laughs> barricade has fallen over and the labor bots are charging in their position. If your crew can take out that squad that's holding that hill over there by the beach 
I'll let you guys head into the fort city to find out what it is you need to do so you can get off this planet. But like, until then, I won't trust you further than I can throw that kid. And he points to the kid over in the corner. Yeah, well. He's all curled up in a ball. Maybe you should take a look at that barricade. And he kind of glances over his shoulder and you, you get this at the, at, the, at the moment when he's realizing that their best sniper is running away, frozen, staring at something in this beautiful moment. Perhaps and the, barricade... the Jedi that I brought with me. I didn't say that. <laughs> Do you want to say that? No, I don't want to say that. <laughs> okay. I mean, you always can drop the J card. It's amazing how much that works. They'll find out soon enough. Yeah, They'll find out very say. soon. <laughs> when they I see this blue you should coming watch. from in the wall and hearing this <laughs> sound. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should take so, a look over there. So, of course, then we've got their leader who's, you know, momentarily stunned by the sight of the Jedi. And then we've got these three guys opening up on the next labor bot because they don't want to die. Because there's this thing about not wanting to die. But they'll aim and they're at short range and they, they like that idea. They, they feel confident when they're doing that. Because it's not like, you know, their commander will let them run because they'll get shot for it. Wow. And and still, this first labor bot that keeps getting shot up, they seem to just not do enough damage to put it down as they're all three wow. shooting into the the two labor bots running back to, you know, back to front right at them going, restrain, restrain, restrain. Okay, so who's you going first? Him. I think it's going to get ugly real quick. <laughs> You think? Because the big bad is in lightsaber range. Yep. yep. <laughs> Zerk, do you want to take another pot shot at him, or do you want me to go? Yeah. Well, I'm, he he uh, stalled, so I'll aim and take another shot at him. Okay, hold on. Let me set up your pool. Got the defense on the armor, and you're taking an aim? I am taking an aim... Oh, damn. oh the, darn. Uh, you have to fix it. You, I clicked a second too late. <laughs> I beat ya. So ignore the second one that's put, giving you back your point. But I beat ya. Mainly because I had the upgrade button already clicked for Kelly's <laughs> roll. So I figured, uh, oh, I might as, well keep, might as well use it. So take your shot. All right. What's the worst that happens? You, you shoot the wall. It blows up and it hits the Jedi and knocks her off the cliff. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, damn. Shit! <laughs> or you just miss really, really badly, as as the case may be. Yeah. So, you know what it is? It's because you sense from the way he froze up and just locked his body, you know your Jedi friend's got to be right around that corner. Yeah, so, you've been real him. careful to not take wanton destruction in that <laughs> area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't want to shoot him as he ran out by accident. <laughs> It's totally what the gank says to everybody. So who's going next? Um, <laughs> I guess I'll go next. <laughs> as you see this this blaster bolt pass like right here, and you're both watching it as it goes flying by, missing by a mile. And I'm perfectly fine with that because now it means that there's not another blaster bolt coming right through there. I was just um, tracking them. Can I just do a normal move to get to him now, or? Yeah, you could move to, like, right here even if you wanted. Yeah, I think I'll go right there, so I'm kind of still behind the behind the troopers a little bit. And I've already got my lightsaber in hand. I'm going to light that bad boy and stabba, stabba, stabba. Let me get you your dice pool. He's got one defense. Now, are you going to take some strain to aim? Sure. Sure, why not? Okay, so i got one blue in there for you. And that's one strain or two? Uh, it's it's two strain. Okay. All right. Strain has been adjusted. Two strain to take an extra maneuver. And we will go ahead and fire away. Oh. 
<laughs> and and you swing, and all of a sudden, you can tell with this guy's visored helmet, you light your saber, and you start to swing, and immediately, you can imagine the eyes are huge inside this visor. And the guy does kind of the Matrix backflip of like, oh, hell no. <laughs> as the lightsaber like warms his face guard as it swings by. But what would you like to do for two advantage? Oh, let's give him another black. Okay. Obviously, it's very distracting to have a Jedi swing a lightsaber in your face. Yep. So, so Uma or Najar, who's going next? Uh, I As would all like... of a sudden, this commander who's giving Uma shit is seeing the lightsaber in play. <laughs> I would like to do the um, the real loud noise across their entire thing. That way it like distracts everybody. Okay, go ahead and give me a computer's roll. Let me put your difficulty in there. As you're going to see if you can make everyone have to rip their helmets off. Right. Because we all know that actually happens. Wow. 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 Wowie wowie. Couple success. <laughs> okay, so um, pretty much it takes you like a fifth of a second to bop, pop the comms back plate off. You stick a little piece of wire that's always apparently up in your little lizard ear <laughs> right inside the little communicator, and you hear, without holding this communicator close to your face, the loudest pitch that just modulates like an opera singer doing the scales. And immediately... <laughs> Maybe strain damage? <laughs> <laughs> immediately, all of a sudden, everyone rips off their helmets... Over here. That's that's going to be their, their whole next action, including the person avoiding getting their, their face, basically, lightsaber guillotined off. Everyone is just ripping those helmets off because th there's this horrible squelch that even our Jedi is hearing <laughs> through the helmet. Nice. As there's just the... And the helmets go flying across the field here. And not just here. It's the entire island has got the same effect happening across <laughs> it. As all of a sudden, people everywhere are going, what the heck's going on? And you're welcome. <laughs> <Nice>. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm deaf now. Thank you very much. <laughs> They're all doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and what is what is Uma doing while all of this is happening? It's like, uh, basically, um, see, hold on. Jedi, if see, I can. <laughs> huh? I said, see, see, Jedi, see? Look over there, Jedi. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> and I brought a Jedi. What more can I say? And immediately he's like, okay, you have my word. If you can clear out these troops, I'll give you and your crew free pass back and forth. Thank you. But we're taking him. And he points to the separatist. I tied him up like a present for you. <laughs> okay, then. As, as he's got that, I'm foe in charge, you know. Yeah, because okay. that's, that's what I'm now, telling you. But now, are any of those guys in, uh, they're, they're all long range to me, right? I'm st I can still shoot at them? Uh, yep, they are in long range to you. Okay, so the, the, the closest one, um, uh, as I know that they're going for the sniper. So I'll take, yeah, the one that, uh. Uh, this this guy. is, uh, yeah, I'll go for that guy. Um, okay. Let me switch to my combat Are you tab. going to aim? Yes, I am. Okay, I've got a blue die in at long range for you. As you whip out your pistol, which is one of those great long-distance marksman pistols. It's like the mm -hmm. old classic Luger with the buttstock. 
as you're going to show these idiots how to do what they need to do. Hey, I got a success. And it's That's just it. good enough to hit. As you kind of shoot a round off and it kind of pings on him. Let me double check something real quick. So he takes some damage, but he doesn't go down yet. <laughs> but he does look jacked up. So like, Okay. And of course, at this point, the droids come in and do their thing. So there's going to be swarm of droids versus swarm of uh, thugs. Good boys. Good boys. So top of the order? Yep. Just as soon as the droids take their swing. And as you can see, the droids are the best fighters ever. Wow. <laughs> as they're, you're seeing all this slap fighting going on that nobody's actually making contact with each other. And because it's partially that whole pulling your helmet off, trying not to die, die or blur your eardrums out. So helmets plop into the ground all around you guys. And these people are like, what the hell just happened? So who's going first? Um, David, let me go before you so that uh, you fine. can still shoot him if I miss. But that way, if <laughs> you miss, you don't end up shooting me. <laughs> <laughs> Never this would. is a good plan. Good. All right. So I am going to use uh, two more strain and aim. Because now I can see his eyes. You know, before I didn't want to kill him because I couldn't look in his eyes. Now I'm okay with it. Well, you can take an oh. aim without. Well, strain. remember, if you're not uh, if you're not moving, you don't have to take strain. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even better. So if you're just standing your ground, you don't have to take strain on that one. All right. Beautiful. But your dice pool is set. Oh Jesus Christ! And all <laughs> of a sudden, you realize sudden. why this 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 guy is in charge because he starts doing the whole. You start to lightsaber him, and he just like <laughs> kicks your wrist to throw the lightsaber stroke off. But you do have three advantage that you could do something like disarm him or knock him down or what would you like to do for three advantage? Yeah, let's go ahead and let's uh, let's knock him down. Maybe I'll be able to kill him when he's prone. Okay, he <laughs> you swing your lightsaber. He kind of kicks your wrist to deflect it, and then you just grab his foot and pull, and you just watch him go ass over tea kettle and on right onto the ground. Gonna I'm suck gonna in his next Dave turn. Shots. Yeah, because <laughs> I have no qualms. It does not bother me that he's down. I will kill him. Ah, I am, but it'll add I a black dank. dice. Yeah, to I was gonna gold. say it's it broken. adds a black dice. Yeah, that's all right. It's fine. It's fine. What's the worst case? You shoot somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Best black that dice ever. At the end. So who's going next? Yeah, set me up. I'm gonna aim. Okay, let me set you up. I'll give you a half breath, half second. I've got a black for him being prone, a blue for you aiming. Got your three purple. Anything else? Sure. <laughs> Upgrading yours. Got it. Okay, here we go. Oh, damn it. Wow. <laughs> this guy is just a bitch. <laughs> The dice are just not your friend right the now. Blue didn't As immediately help. he falls prone and sees you popping out of your little hidey hole at the wall, and you kind of do this he he he, and immediately starts to roll the opposite direction <laughs> as the blaster fire blows up in the ground. But what would you like to do for that one advantage? Oh, I'll uh, I'll give a blue to our next. Okay. Next and last. Oh, no, there's two more of you guys. Yeah. So which one of you guys is going next? Uh, there's really, I mean, no combat thing I can do. Uh, uh, what about uh, if you shut down the separatists now that you've given them the feedback and they've turned the headset, uh, they've thrown off their headsets for their next turn? Um, uh, what about just disabling you're kind of breaking up there, by the way, sweetie. I am? Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, you came out all choppy. Um, is that better? That's, That's awesome. better. No, why? You were doing robot speak where every half syllable was disappearing. Well, since the um, the channel had the massive feedbacks, maybe you can just shut down that channel now so that they can't reestablish. Exactly. Uh, I'll Courtney. give you that as a freebie that doesn't even require a roll since you rolled so well the last time. Okay. Yeah, I do that. As you, you just do the <laughs> and you cross those wires and the thing goes <laughs> and, and you just feedback that just shuts down the whole separatist channel island wide. There you go. So Uma, what are you doing? Didn't I fire on the guy? That was last time. Okay, last then time. I'm going to fire on him again. Okay, hey, you're going to try to show up uh, Zarek there with your, your rifle skills on your pistol? Yeah, sure. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, so at? go for it. I'm scrolling down to my long-ranged one. Hold on a sec. And you're shooting at the okay. the flunkies or the guy? Um, Is the guy in range? Oh, well, he's on the ground. He's long-range. Okay, so go he's going to be a more difficult range. shot. Well, then okay. I'll just go for the one this, uh, the, the one I mean, the flunkies need to get time. taken out, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go for the same guy I went for last time. Okay. You ready? Yep. Woohoo! Two successes that so, time. So, needless to say, the guy is gone with that shot. You line up, you, you look at the guy that's giving you shit, and you just go, and, I'm like, and you and see I, the guy go, and I just, ah! and I'm like, ha. And I give that like that quirky smile, then it like as as the other two guys are looking at their blasters, saying, "I wish our blasters could do that, sir." We need weapon upgrades, sir. We're not properly equipped for this situation, sir. <laughs> we have some equipment we could sell you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so our dear commander here on the ground, four black, uh, three black dice to any action, is actually going to try to level his rifle at the Jedi point blank, which means it's even more difficult. <laughs> Just head visions of get away from her, you bitch. <laughs> And you know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna spend the maneuver to aim. So <clears throat> he's gonna stick that rifle, try to stick it in your face, and pull the trigger. Try. That's that's the appropriate word. Try. <clears throat> There's do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> and apparently the survey says do not because blaster fire goes shooting up way high in the sky as our Jedi immediately. Pulls the rifle out of her face, because why not? That's what but you it do. It was a pos- one positive result. I mean, may not have been yeah. a success, but. <laughs> and uh, for that uh, that that advantage, he's going to regain some strain because you know that's that's the thing he needs to do right now. And on the plus side, got rid of all those negative dice that were stacked up, but unfortunately, on the ground in front of a Jedi with a lightsaber. Mm-hmm. But that's okay, because Jedis don't kill people. Mm. <laughs> and uh, the, these guys are just going to try to run away. They're, they're running over here to these little things and ripping this, off the camouflage covering on top of them. Couldn't the droids have tried to grab them before they ran off? Uh, sadly, they don't get attacks of opportunity. But they will pursue. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so who's going next? Me, could me, help. me. It helps so hard to find. <laughs> I mean, the guy did just try to shove a long-range rifle in your face and pull the trigger. I mean, that, that is kind of a armed and dangerous. Legal recourse to lightsaber. Huh. Yeah, set me up for the kill. Two purple, a black for defense, and you get a blue for them being on their knees in front of you. Would you yeah. like to aim? You bet I would. Would you like to use a destiny point? <laughs> do it. Hey, it's do almost it. nine o'clock. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, do it. Do, do it. it. Mine, mine as well. Yep. Click your button. 
Uh, Eyes not. only gives it to you if you click the button. Is that the right button? That is the right button. And your dice pool is ready. Oh, there shit. you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, with him on his knees, and he just shoved his rifle up at your face and fired, and you blocked it. What does the attack look like? Oh, geez. Um, so I will have done a a spin to avoid the attack, and as the blaster bolt goes flying past my head, I just complete 360 and cut his head off with my lightsaber. Now, now the interesting question is: with that advan- with, with the triumph, do you want to destroy the weapon as well? <laughs> Um, no, no, that seems like a pretty nice <laughs> rifle that one of my teammates might like to make use of. Yes. Um, it is a very nice rifle that I'm trying to make you destroy so the teammates don't get a hold of it. <laughs> right, that's, that's why I'm, I'm definitely not going to destroy it. Um, nice try, James. <laughs> <laughs> I had to try. But I will give you for the triumph that the rest of these guys will surrender rather than flee. I, mean, I, like when you that do idea. S- I don't want them stealing. That's what I was trying to think of is I don't want them stealing the, um, the, the boats. So, okay. So, yeah. so immediately you do that and you just bellow out in your commanding Jedi voice for them to stand down, drop your swords. Oh wait. The wrong movie. <laughs> and, and immediately their blaster pistols hit the ground and they're just like, you give up. Don't kill us and, at the exact same moment that these guys go. Diddly diddly all right okay so since it is nine o'clock that's a good time for us to say that they surrender and you guys can head back over to the commander to talk to him Mm -hmm. i assume you can take it from here commander at which point the commander's kind of embarrassed and takes the prisoners that you give him and he's he's going to lock them up in this building over here because it's a convenient building and it's actually got a door and he's he's going to you know And I'm going to mention to him, you know, somebody's past doesn't always dictate their future. Oh. Wow. And he kind of gives you that begrudging look of I might have been wrong about judging you on crimes that you have committed. <laughs> and, oh, no. and if communications <laughs> if communications come back up, I'll make sure to radio the fort to expect you, Amu. Thank you. But and, if uh, you head just up the road, and basically he's signaling over here, that, that there, there should be our last command vehicle there that could carry all of you and... and you know, possibly, if you could turn off the jammer inside the vehicle, we would really appreciate being able to contact the base. I think that can be arranged. And I actually probably oh. don't need to know that we're coming to the base. I have business okay. with somebody inside. <laughs> okay, so at the moment, it's a good time to say everybody gets yeah. back over here. They, they, they all regroup. They all roll their cool to get some strain back. And we... Uh, I. Investigate the uh, sniper dude. Oh, you want to know what's on the sniper dude? Do you? Uh, yeah. I was, yeah. I was actually going to grab that rifle and uh, bring body. it down back <laughs> down to you. Be like, here, you want this? <laughs> so conveniently, since the sniper dude never used it, the sniper dude has this really nice blaster rifle. Mm-hmm. There's the equipment right there. Really nice heavy battle armor. And two frag grenades, which the stats are right there. Hmm. Wow, I so should have threw that frag grenade. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't. Right. Um, so, uh, uh, Zarek, do you want the uh, rifle? Um, or... Yeah. I mean, it's nice. Mine has some other functionality, a little less damage, but it, it's worth keeping. Okay. Or, and for uh, anyone that wanted a blaster rifle from the thugs, there's the Separatist <laughs> Thugs blaster rifle. It's like, or uh, Janong, do you want the long range 
uh, rifle. Um, no. Okay, no. so then, no. Zarek, why don't you take it? Sadly, no, Zanog himself. Yeah. We could. We could sell it. and It'd be worth a lot. Hey, Jim, can you fix my, my dice so I can roll my cool? Sure. Let me clear the dice pool real quick, because that's probably what's jacking you up. Yep. There you go. There we no. go. Yeah, I'll do my cool. Um, yeah, I definitely so would the, like uh, the armor and uh, the reload, at least one of the reloads. The the heavy armor had a comm unit, which is no longer working for some reason in the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, too, could make use of that armor. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good armor. I mean, two it soak, is. one defense. Hey. It's got roll a, uh, the separate. Roll a like D hundred. See which one gets higher. <laughs> you will roll off. Yeah. Okay with that. Slash That's old school. You know. Let me roll my cool real quick first, just to see. If so I can is get that two strain back for that roll, Jim? Or. Yep. All right. Yeah. Quick. No cool back. You want the grenades? Uh, somebody range light probably be better off with the I'll grenades. I'll take the grenades then. So, how many frag grenades are there? Two, two frag grenades because he didn't use a single one. Sucker, we kept him busy, all, man. All because of your diversionary tactics. <laughs> all right, here we go. Roll one hundred. Whoa. So we got a 34 for Gunter. We got a 51 for Zarek. So Zarek gets it. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know what you're wearing now, but I got some well-worn... <laughs> <laughs> it smells <laughs> like wet gank. <laughs> Chitin armor. Oh. It adds to your coercion. <laughs> I, might, I might take that from you, yeah, because I don't think... Let me... It's very intimidating to be wearing bug armor. Yeah. Right now, my armor has just two soak on it. I'm wearing a Jedi training suit, so... Uh, well, that's... Yeah, I mean, my armor, uh, what I had, uh, is, isn't any better. The, that's, the defense is what I was definitely looking at, so... Yeah, so... Nice. In that case, the nice thing of adding a black dice is nice. Yeah. Yeah, but you can get like uh, armored cloth or whatever I have, and that gives you a defense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you don't have the soak, so. <laughs> I've got yeah. two soak. Based on your brawn, right? Not because of anything else. Be oh, based on my brawn and my armor. Hmm. The uh, yeah, the I mean, I don't think you want the chitin armor, probably, but I no. I actually didn't put the soak down. I think it's too soak, but yeah, it's, it's, I think it's something like that. But it adds a advantage to coercion and a threat to charm and uh, to charm checks. So I'm probably don't want the threat to charm checks. No, well, when you're wearing really bug sure. armor, it's kind of off putting for people. <laughs> it's like, dude, so. that chitin is looking at me. Yeah. I'm not a coercion either, so it doesn't. I'm not the. I'm not the mouth of the group. You're, you're well, not bossy or charming. Yeah. <laughs> I was, like I said, I'm not the face for the group either, unless I have to be. So. <laughs> Only unless aggressive negotiations are necessary. But I'll give up an advantage to have the uh, better armor. So Jim, give us the good stuff. What's the uh, What's the XP award, and did we find any credits? Uh, it's it's going to be 10 more experience. And you do happen to find in a sorted uh, cred sticks, basically the equivalent of about 450 credits. Total or each? Uh, total. Okay. So what's that each? 90? As you guys are sitting there looking at all these debit cards, swiping right. them to scan how much is on each one, writing right. the numbers on it. 
four. So that was ten points that we got. Yep. Ten experience points. Yep. Okay, and how much uh, credit? Four hundred and fifty credits. So one hundred and hundred and twelve each. Hundred and yeah, hundred and twelve each. A couple Pocket left. Pocket change. Okay. Thankfully, these guys provided enough money for you to go drink to their death. <laughs> Except for the three prisoners that you took, which these guys appreciate. Yeah, we hand them over. Why not? Mm-hmm. And, you know, we screwed up their slice, so... Well, screwed up their slice and their communications network across the, the whole area. Some, mecha- some mechanic is going to be pulling out his computer pad going, How did this happen? This should not happen. You're welcome. <laughs> I can parry even better now. Yay. Ah, oh, more sh- parry? Yep. Crap. It gets rid of my whipcord, Thor. Damn it. Oh, well. Well, you just need to ask someone who's good with you know, mechanics yeah, yeah. to see if they can transfer that for you. Yeah. I mean, it's only a two purple roll to not, you know, just don't fuck it up. Right, right. Yeah, well, that'll have to come later. Alrighty, guys, so it's a good time to, to wrap it up there since Kelly probably has sure. to go to bed right now. Yes, right. my. Did anybody need a utility belt? Nope, already got one. Uh, I'll uh, take it. Yeah, oh, you there you go. One. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say if you don't have one, you should get one because they yeah. are really utilitarian. Let me, uh... <laughs> I actually have the I Jedi inventory, belt. which is even better. Mm-hmm. Anybody need one of the reloads or no? Uh, it's just one extra reload. Oh, sorry. Co- reloads, comma. Yeah. Sorry, I saw two, so. No problem. It's the okay. two frag grenades, which is the important yeah, yeah. part. Yep. And cool. how far does our Jedi's move power go? <laughs> uh, um, it's low level, not very far right now. Using the force with frag grenades is always fun. Right. The best part, using your lightsaber to make a murder hole and then force the grenade through. <laughs> Sweet. All righty then. Okay. All right. Good, good job, guys. Thanks Bye. all. Hey. Hey. Have night. Show. Call it a night. Hey. Hey, everybody. Right. I'm going to stay in the roll 20 for a little bit longer. And yeah. like I said, I just bought that second rank of parry. So I'm going to figure out where that goes and throw it in here. Cool. Uh, right, that yes. would be under your talents on the combat tab. Perfect. Yep. Thank you. Yep. All right. See you next time. Yep. All right. Later, guys. Later.